Brothers and sisters, pray forgive me my absence. It has been far too long. Lord Hian. Gosetsu told us of your trials and tribulations on the steppe. Would that I had been present to witness your victory, my lord. Our victory, Yugiri owed as much to each of my stalwart comrades as it did to me. Now rise. I will not suffer this excess of formality any longer. Alfino and Alizé Levio, I presume? I am told we owe you much. It is a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Lord Hian. Though we were born and raised a world apart, our values are one and the same. Freedom, justice, liberty. Each of which Doma shall soon enjoy once more. Hopefully. I understand you have brought an army. Indeed. The Zayla tribes of the Azim Steppe have pledged their military might to the cause. Good. We, meanwhile, have secured the support of the Confederacy and a not insignificant number of your countrymen. The Blue Kojin, too, have expressed a willingness to join the fight, provided you agree to certain trade agreements following the liberation of Doma. The Shinobi will render what aid they can. However, Suino Sato refused to answer our call. No matter. What forces we have amassed far exceed my original expectations. You have my thanks. You should know that Xenos departed Doma not long after you left to find Lord Hian. We know not the reason why, but it would seem he was eager to return to Gear Abania. What? Have you heard anything from the Resistance? There hasn't been another attack, has there? Tataru assures me they are quite well. You need not worry. If anything, this turn of events would seem to be to our advantage. But there the good news ends. Yotsuyu retains her position as acting viceroy, and we have reports that the garrison at Doma Castle is preparing for a massive operation. We suspect that the Empire's attempt to eliminate you on the steppe may have been a prelude to a larger effort to purge the remaining pockets of resistance within Doma. The hour of reckoning is upon us. <laughs> the Han has spoken, and I, for one, am not inclined to argue. In this place, in this moment, I call upon you all. 25 years of oppression, of tyranny, of shame. It ends with us. We will prevail.
If all are in agreement, I will outline my plan to retake Doma Castle. First, Lys and the Doman Irregulars will conduct a series of raids against Imperial targets throughout the surrounding area, with the aim of drawing the garrison's attention. Shortly thereafter, our Zayla allies will launch a surprise attack on the castle's airborne defenses. In this way, we will prevent the enemy's airships from rendering support and cut off one means of escape. Alize and I, together with the Shinobi, will exploit the ensuing chaos to infiltrate the Moon Gates and disable the Magitek field generators. Once the barrier is down, we will be free to cross the One River and reach Doma Castle. It is at this point that we must turn to our Confederate and Kojin allies. They will commence to bombard the castle with cannon fire while sailing west towards the Doman Enclave. Wait, the Enclave? Why would you want them to sail away from the castle? Because the Enclave is home to countless civilians. Once pressed, the Imperials may well think to take them hostage, and I would fain forestall any such attempt. After we have secured the Enclave, we may lay siege to Doma Castle directly. The main strength of the Doman Liberation Front, under Lord Hien's command, shall be committed to this endeavor, as will you and your redoubtable allies. The rest is simple. We scour the castle for the Viceroy, we find her, and we subdue her. Without their leader, what remains of the Imperial's morale will crumble, and they will surrender or attempt to flee, and Doma will be free. Your thoughts, Lord Hien? If any points were unclear or gave you cause for concern, I should be glad to go over them with you. Nay, tis a fine plan. You have a talent for this. That much is plain. We shall carry out Alphano's plan to the letter. Time is of the essence, as you know, so let us each see to our respective preparations. Carry on.